Hello, my name is Beth and this is Holly and we are part of a biodiversity monitoring group. As a group, we are trying to help lots of different animals by counting how many we see and where we see them. This means we can find out where, how these animals like to live and so we can help create more homes for them. All these different animals are, are classed as different species. A wasp is one species, a bee is another. And this is because they are different types of animal. A habitat is the place where these animals live. For example, a bee can be found in a garden and a park, and these places are called habitats. All of these habitats and species make up an ecosystem. The species interact with each other and are all connected by their habitats, so they live in one big ecosystem. Biodiversity is every different type of species and habitat that you can find in one ecosystem. If you look around a park, you'll see lots of insects, grass, trees, and some birds in the ecosystem. But if you look around a woodland, you'll probably find hedgehogs, deer, some different flowers, more birds, insects, grass, and more in that ecosystem. This means that the woodland ecosystem has more biodiversity because it has more habitat types and because it's got lots of different species interacting. Now, biodiversity is really important because every species brings something different to an ecosystem. Species like bees, for example, are really important because bees are pollinators. So they take pollen from one plant to another and that makes the plants grow flowers or fruit um, and helps continue their life cycle. Now, without bees, plants would have no flowers or fruit and all animals who eat flowers or fruits would also have no food. Um, so if somewhere has more biodiversity, it will be healthier. Bees are not the only pollinators who can help flowers grow. There's also wasps, butterflies, moths, bats, and even some birds. Each of these pollinating species likes specific flowers. So we need all of the pollinating species to have every type of flower and fruit. Wasps might not be everybody's favourite, but they are one of the only species that help pollinate figs. So without them, we wouldn't have figs to eat. Without all of these pollinators, we wouldn't have pretty gardens with beautiful flowers and we wouldn't have any fruits or vegetables. Lots of other species eat fruit too, like bats, squirrels and deer. Without pollinators, these animals wouldn't have food to eat either. This is why we are working towards helping these pollinators by giving them enough habitat to live in and that, so they can help to continue pollinating flowers to create fruits and vegetables and lots of food for other species to eat. We have an activity pack for you to use so that you can start to identify different pollinators for yourself, like different types of bees, butterflies and moths. There are also a few garden bird species on the guide so that you can spot different birds that visit your garden or your local park or maybe even your school. Hopefully we'll see lots of different species and you'll know that you live in a healthy ecosystem with high biodiversity.